What's going on YouTube? This is Sean back with another video. Today's video is going to be on Grand Theft Auto number 4. Grand Theft Auto 4, yes I know, is a bit old. When I mean, there's GTA 5 out right now and there's probably Grand Theft Auto 6 probably in the works or on the way right now. But why this video? This, this video because I've noticed that people have been talking about Grand Theft Auto 4 more recently. I think it's probably due to the fact that Rockstar Games or whoever took off Grand Theft Auto 4 from Steam. So people were kind of getting upset with that and all that type of chaos. I also been noticing when people actually download GTA 4 more recently with Windows 10, Windows 8, they weren't actually able to play it. Well, they weren't. The graphics card wasn't able to read their game. So basically, what happens when they get in the game? Their game will look like crap and watered down and looks like just pure puke. But this video is going to teach you guys how to bypass that because people have, you know, graphics cards like 1060, 1070, 1080s, 2080s, so on and so forth. I'm just more than capable of running this game now in current day. But GTA 4, for some reason, will not recognize those the current graphics cards in today's uh, era, basically. Um, but this video is going to bypass all that. I'm going to show you how to do it. So basically what you want to do is you want to go ahead and locate your Grand Theft Auto 4 file, like your main directory. It's probably going to be in Program Files, x86, Rockstar Games, Grand Theft Auto 4. If it's in Steam, it'll be Steam, I think Steam Apps, and the Steam Common for your uh, GTA 4 directory. So once you're in your main directory, what you want to do is you go ahead and right click. You're going to go ahead and go to New. You're going to go to Text Document. You're going to name it Command File, or, geez, Command Line dot TXT. It's going to look something like this down here. Command line TXD. I'm leaving it in the description. That way you guys know how to spell it and, and all that type of stuff. So once you go ahead and create the command line .txt, uh, text document, you can go ahead and open it up. This next part, I'm also going to leave in the description. That way you guys can just copy and paste this. That way it's much easier for you guys. But you're going to put this. You're going to put hyphen uh, available vid mem. It's going to be at 30.0. Then you're going to put hyphen no restrictions. Then hyphen again, you're going to put no mem restrict. What this is going to do is basically it's going to allow your game to not restrict any of this stuff. And it's going to change up your video memory for your uh, graphics card. So after all this stuff is done, basically you're good to go there. You want to click save. You want to keep this open because you're going to need it here in this next part. So what you want to do next is go find wherever you actually launch your game from. So... If you launch your game from the desktop, you want to go ahead and go to your desktop, GTA 4, uh, wherever you click to start your game, you want to go ahead and right click, go to properties, on Windows 10, you want to go to shortcut, the shortcut tab right here, you want to go down to target, and you're going to go all the way over to the right, right after this last quotation mark here, you want to go ahead and press space, and you're going to copy and paste each of these. So you're going to go control C, copy this. You're going to go ahead and press space, control V to paste it. You're going to press space again. You're going to highlight uh, no restrictions right here. You're going to go ahead and press space after the zero, control V. Then you're going to go ahead and go to mem restrict again. And you're going to go ahead and space and control V. After all that stuff done, you should look like this. In there. You wanna go ahead and press apply. You wanna go ahead and press continue. That way it makes a change. Press OK. You can go ahead and save if you haven't saved this already. You can close this out. And you are good to go ahead and launch GTA 4. You should be able to see that you have the option to change your uh, graphics now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in game. I guess I'm gonna show you. As you can see, we're now loading into Grand Theft Auto 4. It's a bit, I guess you wanna say nostalgic because it's been so long, it feels like, for Grand Theft Auto 4. But once you're in game, go ahead and go to options. You wanna go over to graphics. You will see your game start out looking like, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. You're gonna see your game probably start out looking like this. But now you should see the green on the bottom instead of the red, which you guys probably were seeing in the beginning before I showed you all these, or this trick. So you go ahead and go max it all out again, and you want to go ahead and press spacebar, and enter, and viola. Your game should look a lot prettier, it shouldn't look watered down, look terrible, like just a lot puke. You should be able to actually recognize things now within the game. And you have now GTA 4 playable on your Windows 10, Windows 8, or whatever version 
of Windows you have right now. Um, if you have any comments, concerns, ideas, video ideas, however you want to put it, just put it in the comments. I'll get back to you. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content. Have a great night or a great day, wherever your time zone is. But thank you for your support.